around our community this morning. New Year's Eve is tomorrow and plenty of people are getting ready to celebrate the new year. Appleton Police wants to make sure that everyone is safe out there, especially around this time. Joining us this morning is Appleton Police Chief Todd Thomas. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for thank you for being here because mm -hmm. we want to raise awareness about drunk driving and just people driving under the influence and how important it is for them to avoid that. But already you guys have been dealing with some incidents. Yeah, just the last few weeks, we've had some pretty significant incidents of, uh, of squad cars getting damaged by uh, suspected intoxicated drivers. We had an incident a few weeks ago where uh, we were trying to stop an intoxicated driver and uh, they rammed into a house, uh, wow. injured the people that were sleeping in the bedroom. Um, so, yeah, we've seen an increase uh, already and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get a message across to the community and the public to, to plan ahead, um, especially on New Year's Eve when we know so many people are going to be out and around. Um, and looking at those photos is so graphic and unfortunately, not only has that happened, but there has been loss of life already. Yes, uh, September 17th, uh, we lost a valuable community member, Celia Hurula. Um, was killed in a crash uh, with a suspected uh, impaired driver. So uh, in impairment isn't just alcohol, impairment is also controlled substances. And in this case, uh, we have a 19 year old uh, female who was doing mushrooms um, a couple hours before this crash. Uh, hit the rear end of Celia's vehicle at over 100 miles an hour. Celia was just stopped at a red light um, at the time, uh, killed her and unfortunately that that impact is going to last forever on her family and and the community members and and she was a valuable community member uh, ran a daycare center mm -hmm. uh, gerber daycare center with her fiance uh, the people are, are is pretty well known in the valley so yeah. um, one bad decision uh, is going to change not only your life but it can change the lives of many people absolutely yeah. so that's why we want to get this message out there so for people out there let's talk about prevention right it may be simple but just some reminders that things that can be in place to avoid these tragedies right I have a plan um, before you head out whether you're headed out to a, a, a tavern or an event or a friend's house um, have a plan uh, know how you're going to get home uh, make sure uh, you're aware of uh, ride share services that are out there. Uh, most taverns have uh, programs in place to, to get you home safely. Um, but have your plan set before you even leave the house for the day or for the night. Uh, we know people are going to go out and enjoy themselves yeah. and, and be with family and friends. Um, but th there's no excuse for not having a plan ahead of time. And, and if you're out on the roads, uh, be a defensive driver and, and be a defensive passenger. So be aware of your surroundings. If you see a vehicle swerving in its lane of traffic or with its headlights out, um, it's probably a good indicator of impairment. Please call us so that we can try to get that person off the road before something tragic happens. And absolutely, Chief Thomas, we definitely want to highlight that you guys will be out patrolling during this time because there is a need for extra presence, unfortunately, around this time of year. Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be out in public. Uh, we'll have extra staffing. Um, most agencies will. Uh, I know the State Patrol uh, will also have more people out. So we're going to be very aggressive in, in pursuing and getting those people off the road. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Chief Thomas. You gave us so many insightful tips, and we want everyone out there, please remember to be safe. We don't want Chief Thomas to have to work too hard on New Year's Eve. And now we get a quick check of our forecast with Jordan Lamer. Well,